all this is more serious than we thought. I'm apprehensive. Not just because we're going underground. We'll be careful. We don't know what Lamy was up to. And the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. You aim for the heart. I'll destroy the roots. House bombs. Another sorrow used as a guardian.
is over, I might retire. You'd miss it. You know you would. Bread, come see this. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance? Shall we? Sorry, no can do. So, here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. <sighs> suppose we do. Rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I mean, can't be far. Wards, think you can fend for yourself? A ward restrains me. Demonologists really like pushing the limits of their knowledge without considering other lives. That just makes them human. Something has been. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? I'm at your side again.
Something has me. Wards. Sisters, stay low. Piss off! and waiting. An Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right on until it falls apart. You're stuck will force me in a ducky. Careful now. Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Thank you. Creepy hideout. The governor spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. It looks like it died diseased. This is some dark, sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. Ugh. What is this thing? Vanisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> So, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Hasker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. Were you stuck in here? In the Aralu? Originally, I was searching for the source of the poisoning. I may have overestimated my talents. Still, an amazing place to be stuck in, no? Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing, too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. 
Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? You saw his grief as an opportunity to test the effects of the lesser palingenesis. Oh. You know the ritual too? Amazing, isn't it? I've studied it. The actual ritual. Not the mangled version you gave Caleb. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating! Are you aware of what would happen if people learnt of your studies? Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Will you still say that when Pennington accuses you of witchcraft? You must remember Deborah. Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be in a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. By the Aralu, do you mean the Void? Neither name does it justice. This place is beyond words. The Aralu, Mr. McCraith, is made of the very fabric of our primordial myths. Isn't it amazing? How can you be sure the Void has tainted the region? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Yes, we learned of it in Fort Jericho. I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure. The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. 
Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I am a man of many sciences. I am in fact a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. But where, I ask myself, where? We find you up to your neck in the blackest magic, speechifying about your transcendent journey. Your life is on the line, Lammy. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Ah, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them, the very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong, apart from a little theft. You've studied demonology. Did you do it alone? When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed him in secret. Those big books were very boring, until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. Funny, eh? More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the surface. Who was your father's friend? An itinerant Frenchman who often visited New Eden in recent years. He called himself a true pursuer. As a thinker, he was prolific and profound. My father was so proud to be included in his discourse. For him, knowledge is the ladder to greatness, and greatness is the prize. To me, knowledge is itself the prize. Let's go take a closer look at that who's then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mistress Duarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just we're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. I don't eat. Not in the way you do. I feel hunger. Again, not in the way you do. Fascinating. And can you touch things, smell them? Are colors the same as you remember them? My senses are different. It's difficult to describe how. I can see, sometimes touch. I cannot smell. Red tells me this is a blessing. How do you manifest in this plane? Do you feel bound or are you here by choice? It feels... As if I were clinging to a rope, high above the abyss. Even if I wished to let go, I could not bring myself to do it. I see. What about your banisher skills? Can you use them? Do the accoutrements of your craft still work? As a ghost, do they not harm you? 
The marks on my hands and the rings on my fingers aren't actually there. They have no more effect on me than a memory. Can you talk to any ghost you wish? No. I sense traces of their presence. To talk to them, I must still do the work. And yet here I am, talking to you. How marvelous. The dead are rarely as articulate, nor are they accommodating. In fact, they're often quite rude. We should probably get going. Some other time, then. But well, we've merely scratched at the surface of the great mysteries. I mean, look around us. We stand here beyond the ultimate frontier. S sorry. I mean to say, yes, Mr. Stuarty. And there, we should get going. So, the biased governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. I don't know that I buy Lamy's hair of the dog theory, but I feel strange, and I suspect the ooze. The only one with. Oh, God! I need a wee bit of help here. Yes, I can take it. Well, that was not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Something has me. Wards. I am warded. I cannot. Much better. It's like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Underground, looks like. Wonderful. <laughs> 